What's up, guys? My name is Dr. Kazaraz, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time, we just climbed to the top of Snow Peak Mountain, and well... Oh, this is a frozen pond. Nice. And well, now we're gonna fight this guy. Before we fight these guys! Oh, he's not even looking. He's just facing his back towards us. He has no idea. So I think we could turn into a wolf. You know, they said there was a pup named Scooby-Doo, but I'm pretty sure there's a pup named Link. Hi there, everybody. Let's take them all out. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice. I'm just too good. Nice. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. Let's get ready to fight this guy. But it's not going to be in the type of fight you think. No. This fight's going to be a little different. Well, that's a big fish. Whoa! All right, ready for the fight? He's wearing a saddle on his head. Oh, whoa! I heard ruckus in a... Just a human. I see humans not often, huh? Why human come to snows? You want a spiritual journey? You look for a true self? Um, no. Ah, oh, you look for a mirror in such far away place. But you make good climb, and you lucky to meet me. I find shiny mirror piece. Same mirror you look for, huh? Ah, oh, you come to house and see yourself. I caught fish. I make you hot meal at least. My house far away. We slide there, huh? Do like me. Come. There he goes. All right, ready? Here we go. My birds are being a little loud, but that's okay. They're just excited for what's about to happen. And you know what's about to happen, guys? Well, just like the title says, we're about to do some SSX Tricky. Whoa. This is awesome. I actually like this part of... This is my most favorite part in the game. You get to snowboard. Snowboard and Link. You know, I'm surprised they didn't put Link into SSX on the GameCube. They, tef they definitely should have. There's no music right now. Wow. There will be. There'll be awesome music. Good. Come on, Link. You're good. Woo! There we go. Nice. I'm pretty sure we gotta come here a couple times. Oh, we could actually ride on the trees. I wasn't ready for that. But I'll come back here sometime. You'll see. But right now, we just gotta enjoy this awesome snowboarding part. Ooh, ha -ha. Ooh. This is honestly really dope. Yep, I'm gonna say it again, because that's what it is. And that's what this is. It's a lot better when we race those two. That guy we saw was named... His name was Yeto. We're gonna race him eventually, but uh, we gotta go to his house. And then, you can see it up in the horizon. I gotta focus on this. But you guys can look over in the distance and see his awesome house. That's where he lives. It's pretty crazy that he lives there. But we're going to make a quick stop right here. Oh, I guess we have to go all the way down to the bottom. It's all right. I'll come back to the top. But there's a Poe up here we can come get. Here? What's with this guy? He's got a nice place for a beast, man. Yeah, he does. Holy shit. Alright, but we gotta go back as a beast man ourselves. Because up here is where the Poe is. They decided to put a couple Poes up here. And I'm pretty sure once we walk in, there's a Poe. But just letting everybody know this right away once we enter this place, that's the start of the temple. Come here, you. These people must have died here. Yeah, we got another pole soul. 
Oh, there's three out of five. It actually tells you on the mini map. That's actually pretty cool. I think. Nope. Just for me, not you guys. Shame. I wish I could show you what's on my game on my uh, Wii U screen, but I can't. My gamepad. So many different names for so many different stuff. But uh, speaking of different stuff, I uh, I own a sealed copy of Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. I know, me bragging about my Zelda collection again. But no, this time is different. Like, uh, I wanted to see what that game was all about, because I, I always pictured it being like a Tetris kind of thing, with like Tingle and Rupees, but it's a lot different. But here's the next dungeon. The Snow Peak Ruins. Wow, this place is great. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, Tingle's game is really weird. Uh, he has three games in total. I'm about to order the ne the last one, because he only has three. They're all released in Japan and other regions other than America. Because Americans don't like Tingle. I don't know why, he's pretty cool. But then I can understand why. Oh, I'm missing one, too. Okay, alright. Oh, wait! Okay, okay. I, this is a chance for me to get green uh, slime jelly, so I need to look on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, so... As I was saying about Tingle's game, Tingle's game is, uh... I thought it was, like, a Tetris-style game, but no, it's actually, like, a Zelda game, but with Tingle, and it's... Really, really, really fucking weird. Oh, I'm gonna say. Oh, okay, yellow. Yellow, yellow. There's a blue somewhere, right? Come on, where's that blue one? I can make a yellow. I can make a blue potion. I mean, no, a green potion. Whoa, why do they have a picture of Queen Wuchella? What the hell? In the sacred ruins, in the Arbiter's Ground? What the heck? Huh? That's a little weird. You know, it's always cool to double check and look, you know, look around this place. Oh, hello there. Who? Oh, sorry, I have sickness. Uh, come closer. I don't know, lady. This is 2020, I'm not wearing my mask, so, do I need a mask? Alright, I'll trust it, because this wasn't taking place in 2020. How? What? No way. Alright, sorry, I was looking at a map. I mean, a picture that, of an area we haven't seen yet. Oh my god, sorry. You cute little human. Husband told me you come. You want to look at mirror? Uh, my husband found it, but it pretty thing, huh? But, since I get me here, I get sick, and then bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since me here. So we lock me here, so we lock bedroom on third floor, where it hangs, uh... Wait, I tell you where Key is. Yeah, we got the map already, she gives it to us. Fever makes head blurry, but... It probably here, in the room marked with the symbol. Okay. That's not too hard, that's just right, straight, straight, straight. But right now I can't even get up. Would you bring it to me? Uh, start with door right here. Hmm. Okay. I'm looking at these paintings, because some of these are places we've been to, and this is a place we haven't been to yet, and that's a little strange. <laughs> Oop, can't go there yet. Oh, I can't go anywhere yet. Okay. I guess we can't go and see her husband. I wanted to go see him. Oh, that's right. The game is mirrored. I forgot. Oh, you. Wife looked bad, huh? Not healthy since mirrored. So I make soup for her. Fish from Zora Village are most nutritious. You tired, huh? You have it? You have some. It gives you energy. Okay, yes. This is honestly the best healing item in the game. Uh, I think personally I always come back here all the time so like I'll probably do this later on this soup kind of it's not bad it only okay it was pretty bad it replenishes two hearts but uh you know 
we'll eventually make this potion a little bit more better. We can find ingredients throughout this whole dungeon. If we just look around and stuff. But, uh... Oh, hello, Uko. Hold on. I gotta interrupt with Uko first. Phew! Free at last. Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we find each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you, so if you want to whip out, just let me know. You reunited with Uko! Yes, we know. We've done that a lot. Alright, yeah, but... Uh, what I'll be doing off-camera probably later on after this dungeon's over, I'll just, like, teleport here and get all my bottles filled with the soup. Because once you get this soup as, uh, with all the ingredients, it will become the best healing item in the game. And me, personally, I think that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to be quiet to hear that noise he's making. He's just humming while he's cooking. You know, I think Gordon Ramsay would definitely approve of his cooking. I'd say beautifully cooked. Well done. Amazing. Okay. Um, here we got a moving block puzzle. Of course, every ice dungeon has to have that puzzle. <coughs> They're like, alright, so it's an ice place. What do we do? And they like, Miyamoto, you know what we're doing. Ah, <coughs> uh, shit. <coughs> hmm. I think I know what I'm doing. <coughs> Is what I say for everything that I'm doing. Okay. Like that, like that. Ah, wait, wait. I figured it out. Okay. So, I'm gonna push this down here. So, push that down there. Push that over here. Boom. And then that'll slide right in perfectly. That's what she said. <laughs> I had to. You know, there's this things, like I said before, you just gotta do it. Just do it. There he is. I knew, I knew he'd pop up if you said it. It's like a thing, if you say just do it. Oh, there he goes again. He just pops up on the screen. All right, get out of here, Shia LaBeouf. See, that wasn't so hard. I'm a genius. I'm a, I'm a true dungeoneer. I know how to play Zelda games. Do you even know how to Zelda, bruh? Gotta be a puppy. Dude, okay. The Wii U gamepad battery really sucks bad. Give me a second. I gotta charge this shit. Alright, sorry about that. The Wii U gamepad battery just, for some reason, sucks. I probably didn't even need to use my sims right there. This dungeon, I think, is a, a little bit... Ooh. Kingdom Hearts key. Oh, we gotta get a keyblade to open that. You know, I'm not really a big ki uh, Kingdom Hearts fan. I never really played the games. Well, I never really owned a PS2 or PlayStation or anything that wasn't Nintendo. But uh, I like how a lot of people were really hoping it would be Sora. That was confirmed for the uh, new Smash Bros. character, but then it was Sephiroth. But I just think that's so cool. Everyone's reactions to it. I like re watching reaction videos, like after a character was released, so like Banjo Kazooie, uh, who else was released? That's awesome. King K. Rool is pretty dope too. He was awesome. I actually have a King K. Rool amiibo too. I was actually lucky enough to find one when I went to GameStop. It was just like tucked off in the used section, but it wasn't even opened. It just had like a little torn corner, but that was it. It wasn't really like ripped or anything. It just bent a little. But honestly, I think I made out pretty nicely. And where's my shadow? Um. Uh, where's my reflection? Where's that ref reflection? Is Link a vampire? Are we all vampires? Oh, there's a lock on the door. I didn't see that. Uh, how do I? Oh, I have human hands. I like how that just triggers a loading screen. Kinda. Yeah. So, uh... I did not know that there was any Kirby games on the, uh... The Nintendo Online service, so I was thinking about playing Kirby Superstar on my channel, because, I, you know, this is a Nintendo channel. I love Zelda, but I gotta play other Nintendo games, too. 
just the good ones. And well, Kirby Superstar ain't that big of a game, so I could actually and not that really hard of a game either. So I could get that done like probably a, a couple parts. Which wouldn't be that bad, actually. So it'd be pretty cool to do that. Okay, now where do I go? This one always stumps me a bit. Okay, treasure chest. Should I go into a doggy? Oh, shit, I'm so fucking stupid right now. I feel like an idiot. Like, I didn't think that was what you had to do. Uh, but I was thinking, I'm like, they wouldn't make it that easy. But I guess they made it that easy. Alright, let's check our loading screen. Why not? Whoa. Can't touch this dent. Wait, aren't you a Pokemon? You're a Pokemon, aren't you? Such a cool dungeon. That I'm already getting, like... If I'm getting messed up in the beginning part of it... No! Oh. Oh. Oh, it's like that game! This kind of reminds me of this game uh, they used to have at this uh, youth center I used to go to. It was really cool. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. But you'd get like this thing, there'd be like salt on this wooden table. And like you'd hit them and they'd like, you know, do what they just did. I want to say shuffleboard, but I don't think it's shuffleboard. That's something else. I don't know, it was like a small mini shuffleboard, I guess. It was cool though. It was kind of like the YMCA, if anybody knows what that is. Because I know that's like, you know, there's a song about it. So how would you not know? Okay, shows me the chest is, it's kind of like, you know, if this was like Skyward Sword, I would see where the chest is, and then Midna would, holy shit, and then Midna would be like, I think there's a chest in there. Nice try. Ouch. Okay, that was a pretty nice try. I hate these guys the most. I hate all the enemies in this dungeon, let's just say that. Like, Arbiter's Ground sucked only because sand sucks. This place sucks because I hate these guys a lot. Because huh. I got that stupid ice spear, and like it's so hard to dodge. And they always gotta get, like, the Gibdos suck too. They always gotta make enemies that just hit you right away. That just sucked. Sorry, people are being loud. But that's okay, you probably didn't even hear them. Honestly, I thought you could hear like the other noises, but I'm pretty sure my mic's pretty good. Keeps things quiet unless someone barges through my door. If you like barging through doors, I'm gonna do that too. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was a white chest. Hey, is it white? Whoa! You got a, the Ordon pumpkin. This pumpkin was grown in your hometown of Ordon. What's this? This isn't right. She's got the location wrong. Want to go back and try to get her and remember the key is? Uh, yeah. But I think I'll do that in the next episode. So if you guys did like this and you want to see more, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, why not hit the like button and subscribe to see more videos. Next time, we'll be going through, and hopefully she'll tell us where to go. Because that wasn't the key. So see you guys next time. Bye.